have a small issue at the, which is expected at the Bangkok because of the hacking works that we're doing we actually hit the concealed pipe so I need to get my plumber to come down and then we need to see how to save the piping so now I'm contacting my plumber for emergency work he has been on standby for Thursday already but I just need to contact him to come down中水拜了中水拜了中水拜了几个四个一个厕所就四个了我们就没有办法做空修哦直接跟屋主讲咯我先我跟你 So this is a five room project. We are basically doing the whole house renovation for them. There will be hacking works, carpentry works, and also painting and ceiling works as well. Just let me go through. There's no way to do conceal for this for this unit anymore already because it's too badly damaged and then it's, we are not at the end of the, the works yet the piping actually runs back up here and then it goes here so it's very the ones that's on top here is actually very very, very irregular the ones at the bottom it can't be salvaged really the salvage work alone costs more than the running new pipes on. so we advise owner that not to go for conceal and to actually go for normal uh, exposed piping and then see what the owner comes back with so at this stage we will start our planning and design process back in our office before proposing to the owners the possible solutions and piping routes finally we will then communicate with our plumber and the proposed design telling him how we're going to run the pipes for the kitchen and the two toilets as well so for owners that are more hands-on or like to be more involved in the detailed planning of each stage i will usually schedule quite a few on-site meetings but of course as you can see the sites are usually very dusty and dirty so a lot of owners are not comfortable in this kind of environment so I would say most of my clients, they prefer to trust me on my judgment and most of the issues we will actually go through on video calls and liaising through WhatsApp and of course meeting um, in my office as well. So the next steps will be going back to the office to come out with detailed drawings and design before showing our clients on 2Ds and 3D drawings. This is so that everyone on the project will be very clear of what the final result is going to look like. There will be less mistakes and less guesswork with such detailed 3D drawings. So we have come to the end of this episode. In the next episodes, we will see more planning and execution of different aspects of the renovation. Like for this project, there will be more running of aircon piping, there will be toweling, carpentry and the finishing as well. So if you want to see more of our works, do remember to subscribe, like us on Facebook and we'll see you in our next video.